Okay guys, so here's a video, a uh, little bit of a tutorial, but actually I'm making it for myself, <laughs> so I won't forget it, how to make a tiny planet image out of a, a panoramic image. Now here's a panoramic image I made, this is my photo, I made it many many years ago, and uh, out of uh, multiple images and uh, stitched them together into a very very large panoramic image and uh, now I intend to make a little bit of an effect out of it and uh, I checked out multiple ways to do it by the way this is Corel uh, Paint Shop Pro 2022 Ultimate the photo editor luckily luckily finally they included uh, icon size text size scroll bar size options because previously everything was so tiny that literally my eyes were bleeding out of it okay so anyways okay let's get to it uh, first thing we want to do is uh, resize this picture and uh, I need to unlock that so okay let's make it like that 5550 and uh, Basically, I make it, I turn it from a panoramic into a rectangular, just a box size. It's going to take a little while. Again, this is a very, very large image, so that's why it's taking a little time. Uh, there are multiple ways to do this, and uh, I'm not, <laughs> not convinced that my way is the best way, but uh, I just uh studied it so okay so here it is the image a little bit modified what i like to do at this time is uh do a flood fill and just pick a, a color out of this image like this and try to turn everything into the same i think we managed to do that let's do it again okay yeah definitely all right uh, now we go back to image and uh, flip it vertically and uh, then we go to effects and the distortion effects and polar coordinates and this is what it's going to look like okay so this is uh, almost kind of done niche not exactly because I want to fill out this corner is the same color as well so it's a uh, universal and now we have an option uh, of saving it like this or saving it and then uh, go to the effects menu and try at multiple variations like uh, I don't know like this one just to see what it looks like you know giving it a little bit of a artistic form so this is one option and uh, uh, there are many many options oops oops I made a mistake over there you don't want to remove those uh, flood fields okay and uh, so anyways I'm I found this very very curious that uh, you can apply these effects and turn your image into some sort of artwork you see very very interesting one after another like this sepia effect this looks very interesting as well different coloration it's a glow some sort of a glow effect I'm not even sure it's an effect or a filter so yeah uh, this is how I do it and uh, of course you can also crop the image Uh, to your own liking to make it 
the right proper proportion or size and then start adding any kind of effects that you like uh, there are variations and it shows in a mini picture what it's gonna look like you can double click the effect theoretically and it turns into that so yeah absolutely I think it's very very interesting very uh, enjoyable and if you make a print out of your own image like this I think you can decorate your room or just uh, put it out online as a image gallery so yeah this is how I do it it's very very simple basically and uh, yep that's my way of uh, creating if anybody is interested in photo editing or turning in images into this type of uh, effect then uh, as you can see it's uh, rather simple of course you can uh, make it very very complex if you decide to cut out the entire image and put some sort of a layer behind it for example I mean you can manipulate the image but this is uh, the most simple that I com came up with and I just uh, wanted to share it with you but I can't, I just, I have a short-term memory, so if I don't practice something, I forget that. So I just made it for myself mostly. Anyways, I hope uh, you guys find it useful. That's it.